Hey there, YouTube, it's SuperDuke here, coming at you guys today with episode 15 of my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. Now, this is my first video of 2014, um, outside of the recap. If you guys have not seen the uh, recap slash goals for 2014, I really encourage you guys to watch that. It was really important to me. I'll put an annotation to it up on the screen now, and another one closer to the end of the video, if you guys don't you want to watch that now. So basically, in the last part, we got to the Cave of Wonders and we beat up a cat cave or something like that. And, uh, we just did a bunch of stuff. Right now, we're working on trying to find a pillar to, uh, break down the thing so we can go get to the room. That was the perfect job of explaining exactly what we're doing. I think, I, th I think, I, th I feel, I feel like I'm supposed to go over here. It's been a while since I played Agrabah, so I kind of slips my mind where the, uh, pillar that I'm supposed to be destroying is, but... I feel like I'm supposed to go over here. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna swim up this waterfall. Swim up the waterfall. Woo! Alright, so for those of you that haven't seen the recap video, I'm not gonna recap it, but uh, long story short, I'm trying to raise the bar on my channel. And I'm trying to get a bunch more subscribers. Actually, um, I've seen a huge growth after this, uh, after this video, actually, which is the recap, at least. Because I've been at 180, or actually 179 for like two weeks almost now, and after the recap, I'm like, boop, all of a sudden, um, I'm now at like 186, which is nice, I mean, yeah, I know most people that subscribe to me are all people that, um, that I've met, and they, um, found me through, uh, you know, voice acting and whatnot, but that's still pretty cool, the fact that I'm seeing growth again. I think this is the room that we're supposed to be going to as well. Sweet baby Jesus it is, oh boy. Alright, um, fire. There we go. That knocked down the pillar. So now we can go back through the thing and, and go to the place. The place that we're supposed to be going to. Hello, TV. My first wish, Jean. Show me the keyhole. That doesn't look good at all. Jafar is right about to get the keyhole. Uh -huh. We should perhaps get up there and stab him. Like we always do. Well, not particularly Jafar, but you know what I mean. We gotta stop the bad guy from getting to the keyhole. Like we always do. And I don't think things are gonna change this time, especially not with our new pal Aladdin by our side. I'm happy to almost be done with this world. <laughs> this part might be a little bit short. I might uh, just finish off the world in this part, and that might be about it. Depends on how I feel. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's right. Going down, man. Ah, uh, no, yo. Whoa. Sir. None of that. Shame on you. Let's not fight things, and, uh, let's waste a bunch of experience, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I think, right now, decently leveled, so... Okay. I can also fight things, too. And I can also get hit by those things that I'm trying to fight. Uh, yeah! Okay. Ah, ooh! Eo! Yeah, let's heal up a bit. Yeah, let's heal up a bit. Let's go in here. The treasure room, yeah? All right. Now, whoopa. I think I grabbed all the treasures just around here, didn't I? Did I? Let's find out, did I? You. Help me out. Monkey. Thank you. Pachoo! I did not. All right, we got a Thunder Gajit, which is, um, as I'm sure y'all know, that goes through your mission. Okay, so apparently that was the only one that I didn't grab. So... Let's prepare to take on Jafar, because he's about to get the keyhole. And now that I'm looking at it, I've been in this video for literally four minutes, so I don't think fighting Jafar is all I'm going to do, unless this fight takes a really long time and I do really terribly, which is totally a possibility, because I suck at this game. And proud mode's pretty ridiculous, but um, let's go into the lamp chamber. He is more persistent than I expected. 
Why not explain the situation to that boy, Riku? Doing so may actually prove useful to our... Wait a second. Are you Maleficent? Jafar! Black Jasmine, go! Not a chance. You see, she's a princess. One of seven who somehow hold the key to opening the door. Open? What door? But you fools won't live to see what lies beyond it. Genie, my second wish. Crush them! <gasps> Genie? No! Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. Alrighty, we begin the fight with Jafar. This fight can be pretty annoying. Um, he has a lot of really, really large range attacks, and he likes to teleport around, which definitely is annoying. Genie's also going to be kind of swooping around the battlefield. Uh, Genie's going to be swooping around the battlefield. He's going to be, um, in quotation marks, attacking you, but every time he hits you, he'll drop HP orbs, and he'll be like, Oh, I'm so sorry, please don't, you know... Yeah, it's like, it's like one of those kind of deals. Um, I think there's some correlation to the, tele the platform that he's teleporting to and the attack that he does, as well as he likes to float up there where you can't reach him with a normal jump attack, which can be pretty annoying. That and your party members apparently die super fast in this fight. I remember this. Yeah, see, so he drops HP orbs from people when he hits you. <laughs> ah, genie. Oh yeah, that attack has huge range. However, you left yourself wide open, including arms outstretched out all the, the, the full nine yards. You're, you're open. Going down, man. Hashtag defeated. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I see Blizzard. Yeah, I saw your hands turn blue while I was in the middle. Pulling those cheap moves like that, I see you. Oh god, he's doing it again! No, 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 no! Get out, get out! Oh, sweet. Well, yeah, Thunder's not going to do hardly anything. I just wasted that magic. Do I have any? No, I do not. Also, Donald, give me stay out of the middle, please. I'm going to work on trying to get up some magic so I can use Aerio again, because Aerio is a nice spell. It's defensive, and defense is nice. Especially in games where the bad guys do ridiculous amounts of damage. Down the Goofy, get out of the middle. Aladdin, why are you just standing there? At least pull your weapon out, are you kidding? Meh. Aladdin. Aladdin, are you trying? Is Jafar not your rival? He's the bad guy in your movie, like, you... You, you should be... You're casually wandering around the battlefield. Right. Right, Aladdin. Okay. Thank you for your, um, help. Just what do you mean, stay back, man? You stay back. You stay back. Get back. Get back. You don't know me like that. Explosion. Whatever. I don't care. Okay, no. Thank you. Now you want to bleed your sword out. There you go. Now you're starting to get this whole combat thing down. Man, you want to not teleport to the other side of the battlefield or just wander around, man? Oh, hey, you're going to charge blindly at me and get your face smacked in. That's my favorite move of yours. Okay. Now just... Nope. Oh, man, you know what? I was gonna hope you were gonna do the blizzard so you stand there with your arms outstretched like an idiot. That's also an acceptable attack. The one where you get right up in my face. So I smack you viciously. Viciously over and over again. And magic, so I can hopefully get up another area. Nope, that's not nearly enough magic to get an area. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. You wanna... You wanna... Thank you. Alright, man. Come on, bring it over here. Bring it over here. I'm waiting for you. To be like a man. Or just a uh, person with uh, a person with gusto 
not necessarily a man, that's slightly sexist and misogynistic. And I don't mean it like that. I just mean you should fight me. Face first. Like an individual. Dang it, man! Come on! This is why this fight's annoying. It's not very difficult, but it's just like... You're just gonna keep flying away! And he's almost dead now, so that's very good. Ugh. Oh, wowzers. I said wowzers, everybody. Uh, congratulations. Wowzers. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god. Man, every time I get over to you, you're just like, Herp derp, let's go to the other side of the, the field. Thank you. Now run, run at me. Come at me, bro. Ah, memes, no. Ah. You, you're almost done. You're almost done fleeing. Almost. Got one more hit. One more hit. Come on. Are you kidding me? Ha! Loopholes. I don't need to hit you with a key blade. I got magic. I got range. Range. Home on the range. Obtain the power of ice. Blizzard has been upgraded to Blizzara. That makes me a very, very happy camper. I mean, some camper could have just won the lottery, and I will still be the, happy, the happier camper because I am the happiest of campers. Um, we should probably... Well, first off, I'm gonna... Do we have a cottage or something? Cottage. Oh, camping site. That works just perfectly for what I need. Bam, bam. Uh, let's go. Oh no. It's a two part fight, everybody. Anyways, once you jump down here, the second part of the fight will begin um, against Genie Jafar. The lamp! Get your fire's lamp! Basically, the point of this fight is, yeah, there's gonna be a giant genie over there. Don't concentrate on him at all. Fight fight the bird. The bird, um... Yeah, just just, just attack the bird, attack the lamp, and uh, that's how you'll knock him out. Because once you beat up the lamp, uh, you can't really do much damage to him. I guess you can do some damage like with certain attacks or whatever, but trust me, it's way better to just go after the, uh, the bird. Not to mention the bird's a really easy target and likes to stand still for 90% of the match, apparently. And then he's going to get tired and he's going to lay down and it's just going to make things even easier. I tried to guard that. And I failed. Yeah, dude, you are not putting a bunch of... You're not, are you even trying to flee? You're doing much, much less fleeing than Jafar did, I'll tell you what. I have a soft spot for Jafar because I'm... Um, and a play, we were doing a lot, and I almost ended up auditioning for Jafar, but then, uh, things didn't work out, and then I ended up leaving the school that the play was in, so I didn't audition for Jafar. Uh, actually, uh, the kid that, uh, actually ended up getting Jafar, everybody was really hesitant about him, because uh, he is, uh, he's special ed, and he has, like, weird speech impediments sometimes. And everybody's kind of like, eh, is it a good idea to give him the big major role of the main villain? But he did a fantastic job. I didn't even, like, he, okay, he's not, like, the best singer in the world. But Aladdin was a musical, the play that we did. And it was stupid, because we did, we, ah, sorry, people are coming, moving. I don't know if they know I'm recording, but, uh. Regardless, the kid that got the role of Jafari was special, Ed, and, uh. 
people were kind of hesitant about that, but he did a great job. Like, he's not the best singer in the world. And uh, he even had a song, and the song wasn't even that bad. The worst part about this play was, I'll tell you after the cutscene, because I usually like to be quiet during cutscenes. Um... Fire's been upgraded to Fire Eye, and we got Ansem Support 1. Alright, hey, sorry about that, um, you might have noticed a little quick splippity doopity edit, uh, long story short, uh, my recording was salvaged, but I accidentally ended up, uh, kicking the thing, the cord to the Elgato HD capture card, and, uh, it came unplugged, so I had to, uh, yeah, that was a bit annoying and frustrating, and everybody upside is just moving, so... Without further ado, I shall continue the cutscene. My apologies, you guys missed like a tiny bit of it, but nothing important, so... All right, so this is like a little mini game. We're just kind of get out of the uh, the thing, the thing. Anyways, um, despite having my capture card unplugged mid recording, um, everything should be fine. Hopefully, if not, I'll be re-recording this. But uh, anyways, the story that I was saying. The worst part about this play was um, it is a musical, and most of our theater kids weren't choir kids, and most of our choir kids weren't theater kids. And the main roles Aladdin and Jasmine were two kids who had never been in a play before, and as to be expected. Their, um, their singing was phenomenal, but their actual acting was, like, less than average. And then everybody else's songs were just kind of crappy. Or not crappy, like, that, that sounds really mean. Everybody else's songs weren't, um, as good as Aladdin and Jasmine's, but their acting was, like, way better. And it was just kind of, like, huge contrast. I'm like, eh, that was a bit of a questionable decision. That's probably why we don't pick musicals when most of our theater kids aren't also choir kids. But yeah, that was a really easy minigame. I don't even... Okay, I know why they put it there, just for cinem cinematic effect, but yeah. I really do apologize if you can hear noise upstairs, because there's lots of people running around, and if not, I'm just going to make a fool out of myself, but regardless. So Jasmine's no longer an acrobat. Sora, let's go find her. I'm sorry, I can't take me with you, baby. Well, why not? Sure wish we could. Um, yeah, we can't take people to the other words. They'd be meddling. That'd be bad. That'd be a bad thing. Look, just say the word. Ask me to find Jasmine for you. I wish for your freedom, Genie. Ow! Deal's a deal, Genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. You're your own master. But if you can, it'd be great if you could go along with them and help Sora find Jasmine. Hmm. Sorry, Al. I'm done taking orders from others. But a favor? Now that's entirely different. I guess I could give that a try. 
After all, we're pals, right, Al? Junior. Just leave it to me! <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, man, I'm super frustrated right now, because my family is like, hey, let's have no regard for the person who said, hey, I'm going to be recording, and let's, let's make the dog sprint around the house, and, and let's yell, and let's make the dog bark, and let's yell at the dog barking. Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? Jafar was beyond help, consumed by his own hatred. One should be aware of letting it burn too fiercely. Whoa, 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 what now? Uh, I'm as cool as they come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you? Huh? We had a deal, yes. You help us, and we grant you your wish. Go to her. Your vessel is waiting. Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. Why are you doing all this for me? What's the catch? Catch? What's the catch? Silly boy. You're like a son to me. I only want you to be happy. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. So stuff's going down with Riku, eh? Eh? God, what am I, Canadian? Ah, I hate Canadians. Just kidding, I have lots of Canadian friends. Some of which actually live in Canada. Through the um, wonder of the internet, I have friends all over the world. I have friends in the UK. We learned the summer spell Genie. And we got the Keyblade, the Three Wishes. And we learned Green Trinity. This is a very, very nice world. You get a bunch of stuff. Um, Just due to the nature of how everything in my house is going, how everybody's being completely considerate of the fact that I'm recording, I think I am going to end up the party here. So, um... I, uh, this is it, Super Kook. I apologize for my um, capture card cutting out halfway through the video and just making a little blip dee dee blip. So, um, yeah. Everybody, drop a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys all later. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the, um, the 2013 recap plus 2014 goals. So, that's about it. I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.